everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. I have a really exciting video for you guys today. So a couple of weeks ago I actually uploaded a video called Designer Designer Dupes in which I showed you a couple of really really high luxury quality handbags that were dupes for luxury items like a couple of my Louis Vuitton bags. I will link that video for you down below and up here if you haven't watched it already. But after that video I got a lot of requests to do another one since you guys did seem to like everything that I found and I'm thinking what you guys especially liked is the price points of those bags. I obviously really really love like my Chanel, my Louis Vuitton, and all of my really expensive designer items. However, I also am a firm believer that you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to get high quality luxury items. So in today's video, I actually wanted to share with you guys four bags that you can buy today that are very very high and luxury quality but also have a really good price point as everything that I found is actually under $400. So if you're interested in this video and you love handbags and luxury goods, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I do upload videos just like this every single week. So let's just get straight into the video. So I do have a couple of bags here to show you today and actually the first one that I wanted to show you is from the brand called Teddy Blake. Teddy Blake did send me the this bag and it was gifted to me however I did thoroughly already check through the bag and I did pick it out myself from their website so although this bag was sponsored by them I was under no obligation to say anything positive about this bag however after I opened it and tried it on and used it a little bit I actually do really really love this so I'm really excited to show you guys what I got so I just wanted to share kind of like the full experience with you guys it did come in this really beautiful white and black box it's very very similar to maybe a Chanel box where it does open with a magnet on the side so once you open it up, the packaging is really, really beautiful. It says Teddy Blake, New York, designer handbags made in Italy with luxury leather. And then the bag comes with its very own high quality dust bag. And let me show you guys the bag that I picked because I'm absolutely in love with it. So here is the bag right here. I love it so, so much. Like how me is this bag? So this is called the Teddy Blake Maya bag and it comes in a lot of different colors, but I actually got the like nudie pink version. It just looks like this on the front and obviously Obviously, my favorite part about it is this really really cute little bow that it has right here on the front so it just looks like this on the back no pocket or anything and the entire thing on the outside is made out of grained leather and then the flap is actually like a beautiful suede leather this bag feels genuinely really high quality I mean the leather is really really beautiful and I'm just so in love with this color I actually really wanted a nude bag because we are transitioning into fall and I thought like this nude color would go really really well with some of my autumn outfits as I do have a lot of pink already but I don't have anything like super neutral and plus what's really cool about this bag is that there is like a pink piping along the edges which I think is like a really awesome touch it's a top handle which obviously I really love my top handle bags and oh I just think it's so cute it reminds me of like I don't know like a school bag or something and you know how I'm like really into that kind of look kind of like my Liz Lisa bag right here but yeah I just think it's so 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 cute the bag actually has a little push button closure up here and here's what it looks like on the inside the smell of the leather is just so strong like like you know that smell of like opening a new bag and it just like smells like leather that's exactly what this smells like and it smells so good so the inside's just like this it's also suede and then it's got one like flat pocket in the front and otherwise it's just one giant compartment it also comes with an adjustable strap and then it hooks onto the bag with these little lobster claws and then you just hook it onto the bag in the back like this. The only criticism that I have to this bag is actually not with their leather at all. I think that everything is beautiful. However, their hardware isn't as like premium quality. I mean, there isn't very much hardware on the bag in general, but just like on these little clasps, I just don't feel like the quality is there. But like I said, there is hardly any hardware on it. And it literally is just like these two little clasps on the side. So not a crazy big deal or anything, but I did want to mention that just so that I'm being honest. So most of these brands you probably will have heard of before, but if you haven't heard of Teddy Blake, they are a New York company. However, all of their bags are made with real Italian leather and made in Italy. Their goal is to make finely crafted leather handbags for just a fraction of the price that you would pay for like a premium luxury handbag because this bag actually only retails for $339, whereas obviously like most luxury handbag made in Italy would be like thousands upon thousands of dollars. Teddy Blake really tries to create that like genuine high quality handbag 
without you having to break the bank. Now for those of you who have heard of Teddy Blake before, you might know there was a little bit of controversy with their bags and that they did have a lot of bags that were very, very, very similar <laughs> to like Hermes bags like the Kelly and Birkin. However, I went back onto their website after not having looked at it for a while. They've totally gotten rid of those designs and they now have a bunch of brand new unique designs just like this Maya bag. So I highly encourage you to check them out and if you don't see any that you like right now, they do release new designs every month. So yeah, like I said, they did give me this bag, but I honestly really, really love it and I'm so excited to use it in my fall outfits. So yeah, if you've never heard of Teddy Blake or have never checked them out before, I highly encourage you to and I will link directly to this bag down below. So please check it out if you can. All right, the next brand is a brand that I talk about all the time because I genuinely love all of their products that I have and that is going to be Kate Spade. So if you watched my handbag collection video at the beginning of this year, you will have already seen this bag before, but I really wanted to talk about this bag because I truly think that this is one of the best bags that you can buy that is amazing quality, but it's also so, so unique. So this is the Kate Spade Birdie bag and currently right now I have this rabbit flap on it. That's the really cool thing about this bag. It actually comes all in one color. You can choose between like black and pink and I think they have a nude and I obviously have mine in the pink color. For some reason for this video I just could not for the life of me find the original flap but I will insert a picture of what it looks like when you first buy it. The back just looks like this with one pocket and then you open the bag by just pushing in these two clasps on the side and when you open the bag there's actually one slip pocket and the rest is like a giant hole and although I don't know this bag seems kind of small when I'm looking at it on camera but it can hold a lot so what's really cool about this bag is actually it's from their convertible line or what they call the make it mine line and what that means is that you buy like a basic standard bag like I was saying like an all black bag or nude bag or pink bag and then you can buy these really cool flaps to go with it I'll just show you what they look like so the bag comes like this with its original flap and then you can buy these flaps as an add-on and there are so many to choose from but Literally, they release new ones every single season and they are just so so cute and I believe these flaps are under a hundred dollars and the Make It Mine Birdie bag is $328 so very very affordable compared to like the high-end luxury brands so not only can you choose to change the design of the flap you can also choose like what style of bag you want it to be these bags come with two different kinds of straps a shorter one like this where you can use it as a top handle and then there's also a long adjustable strap that you can use as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag so I can mix and match this bag with what I have in so many different ways already which is so so amazing but Kate Spade is one of those brands that I genuinely have always always loved because their leather is so high quality and their designs are just so unique and creative just like this one although Kate Spade is one of those brands that releases a lot of designs they also discontinue their designs a lot however I'm pretty sure I bought this bag about two years ago and it's still going strong and they're still re-releasing it every season along with all sorts of different flaps every season I think that this is a great classic bag and like I said 300 and so dollars plus whatever flaps you choose to buy you can just use this bag in so many different ways and customize it to your own individual style I just think that this bag is so so great all right the next bag that I have is actually one that I purchased recently that when you see it you're gonna be like really because I just feel like this bag is probably out of trend and nobody really talks about it anymore but I seriously just recently bought it and I love it so I don't know why people aren't talking about it anymore but it's actually the Longchamp La Pliage bag and yeah like I said I know I'm really really late to the game I feel like these bags were really really popular like years and years and years ago I just never ever had one because I was like I don't get it but now that I own one I totally get it and I love it so so much I actually bought this because I was planning to do a little bit of traveling and I just thought it would be so so great as a travel bag but I really didn't think that I would like it this much so I did decide to include it in this video because I do think that Longchamp is a really high quality luxury brand and I think that their designs are so so unique in the fact that obviously the highlight of them is that you can scrunch them up and fold them into really really small things they have a lot of different styles but I actually just have their classic like tote bag and I'm pretty sure mine is in the large size so yeah it just comes in like this with these really really large handles and you open it up and then it unfolds into like a giant tote bag. This bag is the cheapest that I'm going to show you in my video because it actually retails for just $145 and for a giant tote bag I think that price is great. Now there aren't many bells and whistles to this bag obviously it's just a standard tote bag and it's made from like I'm so bad with materials but it's a fabric material all around except for the handles of course and it just looks like this on the front and just like this on the back and when you open it up there is that little flap that you have on the top but then it's actually got a zip 
zipper as well on the inside it is so so basic there literally is like no lining and no pockets except for this one really really small slip pocket in the front just the simplest bag but like I said I really wanted to throw this in my video because I feel like nobody ever talks about this bag anymore and I mean I know I'm just realizing like how amazing this bag is but we should really bring it back because for the price and for the quality that this thing is and if you know me and you know my style of packing you'll know that I love anything that you can scrunch down to a really small size and anything that is super functional for travel and I just think that this is totally it. I actually really wanted to use this for something like a trip to Europe because I figured I can throw it in like one of my bigger bags just to have it like an extra bag so that when like I go shopping and if I buy like a lot of really expensive things I can just unfold this from my bag and pull it out and put my expensive things in here so that you don't see like the brand or the logo or anything and so you're not really a target for like thieves and pickpocketers and that is kind of like the plan that I had for this bag but in the meantime they don't really have any plans to go to Europe right now I've actually just been using this as a work bag and it works so so well all right the last bag that I want to talk to you guys about is actually not mine but it is my mom's bag however I love this bag so so much and it is this Tory Burch bag so the one that's actually in stock right now that I saw on the Tory Burch website is actually called the Tory Burch Robinson bag this is really really similar but I wanted to tell you guys that it is not the exact same bag as the one that I'm gonna link below but yeah for all intents and purposes these are basically the same bag this is just an older version so the bag just looks like this it is a flap style bag and then the shoulder strap is convertible so you can wear it like this double chained on the shoulder or you can wear it like this to have it as like a longer shoulder bag the newer version actually has a leather bit on the strap as well so that it's a little bit more comfortable when you wear it as a shoulder bag when you open it up it just looks like this now this older version is just one big compartment but the newer version actually has a little divider that separates the two compartments kind of like a pochette matisse or something this one is like an ingrained pebbled leather as you can see however the newer style is like a Safiano leather which honestly I prefer because I think that that Safiano leather like material kind of like my Kate Spade bag that I showed you earlier is probably the most durable material out there it's water resistant scratch proof all that good stuff the reason why I decided to include this bag in my video is because it actually retails for $398 and trust me when I say Tory Burch's quality is so so good like, honestly if we're talking about mid-range like luxury handbags or designer handbags Tory Burch is second to none I love their quality so so much everything from their leather to their hardware every Tory Burch bag I've ever held has been amazing quality and yeah I just think that Tory Burch is one of those brands that just like rises above all of its competitors and I truly truly love it so yeah I highly highly recommend that you check this out especially if you're looking for like a classic flap style bag that will withstand the test of time without having to break the bank all right that was all for my video I really hope that you guys enjoyed it please let me know in the comment section down below which out of these four bags is your favorite and if you have any other really really high quality brands and bags that you want me to check out please leave them down in the comment section down below so yeah if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I do upload videos just like this every single week and with that thank you so so much for watching and I will see you next time bye